Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, you go first. Okay. Is that from the beginning? I'm having five friends sleep over tonight, and if we can't get online, we're going to be really bored. It's fantasy football draft night at my house. We all can't get online. He's screwed. <laughs> I almost went around the back. I got everything. I'm ready to go. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're on. What's the Wi Fi call? I'm on. I'm on. Okay, did you get anything to eat? You got food. You're going strong. I already called it. I don't have anything else to do. I got the forward. I'm on. I'm on. Hey, hey. Are you showing the camera? Hey, hey. Are you showing the shows have you started? I'm on. I'm sending emails right now. I'm watching a music video. You sing along with me. You sing along with me. Mr. Garrity, you are on the clock. Let's show you keep it up. Put him up on the board. The Gronk. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> We're still on. Success. There you go. That's good. Try it again. Success. Hi, this is Greg from ASUS, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the ROG Rapture. Now, this is the first router from a public of gamers, and I'm going to show you guys how to get it set up and go through some of the features that make this one of the best gaming routers available today. The first thing you'll probably notice is the eight dual band antennas. There are also eight gigabit Ethernet ports with two dedicated gaming ports that prioritize gaming traffic over any other network traffic. There's also a gigabit WAN port and two USB 3.0 ports. It's powered by a 1.8 GHz quad-core processor, and it uses the latest 802.11ac 4x4 multiple-user MIMO technology. It's a tri-band router with one 2.4 GHz band and dual 5 GHz bands. One of the 5 GHz bands is also a dedicated gaming band that will prioritize gaming traffic over other wireless traffic. All right, now I've got the specs out of the way. Let me show you guys how to get this thing set up. So first, we'll go ahead and plug in the power connection. Next, we'll go ahead and connect it to our cable modem using a gigabit Ethernet cable. Now we'll turn it on. So on the front of the unit, you can see the status LEDs starting to light up. Now this process takes about a minute or two, so I'm going to go ahead and speed it up through the magic of video. All right, so everything's powered on and ready to go. The next thing we need to do is set up the networks. And you can do that a couple of ways. So you can do it with your computer, or you can do it with your phone using the ASUS router app. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it on a computer. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and search for the available wireless networks. And the Rapture shows up like this, ASUS 40 5G Gaming. Now this is a tri-band router, so you could also connect to the 2G band, or there's another 5G band. But I'm going to go ahead and set it up using the gaming band. So go ahead and click on that, and we'll connect. Now it should automatically take you to router.asus.com and if for some reason it doesn't, you can go ahead and open up your browser and go there and it'll take you to the setup wizard. So the first thing we do is set up a username and password and this is for the gaming dashboard. So if you ever want to log in to adjust settings, um, after we have it set up then you'll use this password to log in. Now I'm just setting up a generic password and username. Um, you might want to use one that's a little bit stronger than that. All right, now here's where we can change the SSID and the password for each individual network. Now what's cool about this is you can have a different password for gaming than you would for the standard 5G or the 2.4G. So I'm going to go ahead and rename these. So Rapture um, underscore 2G. It automatically renames all of the networks when you start typing in, so I'm going to have to go in and kind of adjust these. And this is going to be the gaming network. And then we'll go ahead and add passwords. Password. Okay, so they're all the same, but like I mentioned before, you could make them different to limit access to any one of the networks. So on the next screen, it asks you if you want to enable Game IPS. And this is basically a firewall. Um, IPS stands for Intrusion Prevention System, and it's powered by Trend Micro. So we're going to go ahead and enable this. 
and agree. Go ahead and click next. All right, so this is just letting us know what changes we've made with the SSIDs and passwords. So be sure to write down the passwords if you haven't already. And after about a minute, it will automatically take you to the ROG game dashboard. And if for some reason you're not automatically redirected, go ahead and double check your connection and then just open up your browser and go to router.asus.com. So here on the main page, you'll get a snapshot of the network status. On top here, you've got your network traffic with your down and up speeds. And then below that is the internet status. So everything looks good, we are connected, and the three networks are all looking good as well. And then below that, we've got our ping. Also on the top of the main page, you have your firmware version listed right here. And also it has all three of our networks listed here. If you do click on them, it will open up a menu where you can adjust the settings for that specific network, including the SSID and the password. We'll go ahead and go back to the main dashboard. Now up here on the top left is quick internet setup. If you want to change everything and start from scratch, you'll click that and it'll take you back to the beginning of the setup. Now below that, there's all sorts of settings that you can adjust here and all the way down here. I'm only going to take you through a couple of them that I think are the most important. And the first one is game IPS. Here you can adjust your security and parental controls. If you click on network protection, it'll bring up more specific settings. So you can turn IPS on and off right up here, but it also has pre-configured malicious site and device blocking that you can toggle on and off, as well as a security assessment up here at the top. Then up here on the tabs, you can get into the specifics of each setting. So we have the malicious sites to block, to IPS, and the infected device prevention and blocking. And there's also parental controls. You know what's here? You can toggle the parental controls on and off, and you can set it up to block specific sites or just entire content categories down here. All right, the next feature that I want to mention is Game Boost. It basically analyzes network traffic and prioritizes gaming packets over other traffic. It also supports many popular consoles as well. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. That takes a couple seconds to apply. All right, the next thing I want to take a look at is the Gamer Private Network. The ROG Rapture includes built-in support for GPN that's powered by WT Fast. And basically this provides a private optimized internet connection to game servers, optimizing ping and latency to ensure smooth lag-free performance. And the last feature I want to talk about is called VPN Fusion. And for those of you who run a VPN, you know that it can negatively affect your ping while gaming. So what VPN Fusion does is allow your gaming network traffic to automatically bypass the VPN and connect directly to your local game server so you get the best ping possible. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions about this router or the software that we use or the setup, go and ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. The more users and devices you have on your Wi-Fi network, the more your network seems to slow down. That's because older routers can only serve one device at a time, causing lag and buffering issues during heavy bandwidth activities like gaming or streaming. Linksys multiple user MIMO routers serve multiple devices simultaneously, maximizing the router's full capacity, resulting in a more responsive Wi-Fi connection with faster speeds for everyone on your busy home network. Unleash a new dimension in Wi-Fi with the world's fastest Wi-Fi router. The Netgear Nighthawk X10 807200 Smart Wi-Fi Router. Featuring the fastest Wi-Fi speeds ever. Using dual-band 11AC and new 802.11AD. 
802 11 AD is three times faster than typical AC speeds. Enjoy ultra smooth 4K streaming, VR gaming, and data transfers at lightning speeds. Go ahead, download an entire feature length 4K movie in less than three minutes, or play a fully immersive VR game without missing any action. This is revolutionary. Industry's first router to run Plex Media Server, so you can seamlessly see and stream all of your media content on any screen, big or small, anywhere in the world. With a powerful 1.7 GHz quad-core processor, the X10 is built for the intense gamer that never gives up and never surrenders. That's not all. It also sports QuadStream Wave 2 802.11ac Wi-Fi with MU MIMO and 160 MHz to get you the best Wi-Fi for all of your other devices. MU MIMO supports simultaneous streaming, while 160 MHz doubles potential Wi-Fi speeds to mobile devices. Four patent-pending external active antennas amplify Wi-Fi signals to maximize range and throughput. The X10 also features the industry's first 10 gigabit fiber connection in a home router for 10 times faster wired connections to network storage. 6 gigabit LAN Ethernet ports with dual port aggregation for up to a 2 gigabits per second wired. And 2 USB 3.0 ports for connecting external USB storage to your network. Or for fast backup of precious media and data. Use Amazon Drive Cloud Storage with unlimited online storage to further back up critical data to the cloud for added peace of mind. Power unleashed across every dimension. The industry's fastest media streaming and VR gaming router. The Netgear Nighthawk X10 AD7200 Smart Wi-Fi Router. Maximize your device performance. Introducing TP-Link's marvelous AC1900 wireless dual-band gigabit router, Archer C9. Its gentle curves, excellent crafting, and remarkable quality exude style to enhance every home. Built with 802.11 AC Wi-Fi technology at its core, Archer C9 delivers super-fast 1900 megabytes per second data transfer rates. Simultaneous dual band offers the flexibility of two dedicated networks and minimizes interference to optimize the online experience. Archer C9 raises the bar on connection quality. With three dual band antennas and high power amplifiers, Archer C9 boosts Wi Fi coverage throughout your home. A powerful 1 GHz dual core processor prevents wireless interruptions, even when simultaneously processing multiple wireless or wired tasks. Advanced beamforming technology focuses Wi Fi signals directly to connected devices for a highly targeted wireless connection. Now you can stream in HD, game, and chat online all at the same time. Access and share printers, NAS, and media via the Times 10 Faster USB 3.0 port or USB 2.0 ports or the FTP server. Most internal components and gigabit Ethernet ports come equipped with shield cover to reduce signal interference for more reliable wired connections. TP Link's Tether app provides a smart way to process, manage, and share your router's resources with your iOS and Android devices. Network management has never been easier. TP Link Archer C9 letting you do more faster.
Today's always online household puts a lot of demand on your Wi Fi network. You need fast, reliable coverage all over your home. Proven to stream up to 20 simultaneous 4K videos, the MaxStream AC5400 is an incredibly powerful router. With traditional routers, your devices have to wait in line. The AC5400 with next generation AC technology is the first router to serve eight devices at once. The only tri-band router with eight gigabit LAN ports and eight adjustable antennas to get the best reach for your entire home. The MaxStream AC5400 multi-user MIMO gigabit router, the no compromise solution for reliable home Wi-Fi. This video will walk you through the easy setup process for Netgear Nighthawk routers. While your Nighthawk router may look different than shown in this video, the installation steps are essentially the same. Each Nighthawk router includes a network cable, power adapter, and quick start guide. To install the router, position the antennas. Disconnect your old router from the modem, then unplug your modem from the power source. If your modem has a battery backup, remove it. Connect the modem to the Nighthawk router with the included yellow Ethernet cable. Plug one end into the modem and other into the yellow internet port on the back of the router. Plug the modem and Nighthawk router into your power source. The power LED will light up to indicate that the router is on. You can now set up your Nighthawk router wirelessly with a smartphone, tablet, or laptop. The pre-configured network settings for your Nighthawk router can be found on the bottom of the device. Find the unique network name in the list of available Wi-Fi networks and select it. Then type in your unique network key to connect to the network. Once your device is connected, it should begin installing automatically. If it does not, open your preferred browser and enter routerlogin.net into the address field to launch the installation assistant. The assistant will first detect if there is an existing gateway or router in your network. We recommend that you select the Help Me Choose option so that the assistant can suggest the best operation mode for you. Once the internet connection has been detected, then press Next on the Congratulations screen. When setting up your router using a PC, you will be asked to install Netgear Genie and ReadyShare Vault. We recommend that you install these to have all the tools required to maximize your network. The Firmware Update Assistant will detect if a new firmware is available. If new firmware is found, select Yes to download it. Once the router firmware has updated, your Nighthawk will reboot. Once the installation assistant has completed, register your network router. Registering confirms your warranty and will ensure you receive timely updates. Be sure to download the Netgear Genie app from the App Store and Google Play Store. With the Genie app, you can diagnose and repair network issues and even establish a guest network and set up parental controls with ease. Visit netgear.com or click the link in the video description below for additional setup details and the latest information on Nighthawk routers. Introducing Google Wi-Fi, a new kind of system designed to keep up with how we use Wi-Fi today, from playing to streaming to video calling. Here's how it works. You simply replace your existing router with a Google Wi-Fi point, or points if you have a larger home. These points work together with your current modem and internet service to provide fast, seamless Wi-Fi for your whole home. Google Wi-Fi is set up and controlled through a mobile app that gives you a host of features for simple, straightforward access to your network, no matter where you are. Like letting you see which devices are connected at any one time, or giving you parental control so if it's time for dinner or time for bed, you can give them a little time off. It lets you easily find and share your Wi-Fi password with guests and even allows you to prioritize a specific device for faster speeds, so the important stuff never gets interrupted. And Network Assist technology works in the background to make sure you always get the fastest possible speeds. It takes care of things like Wi-Fi channel selection, High traffic on the channel you're using can slow down your Wi-Fi speed. Google Wi-Fi constantly monitors to make sure you're on the least congested channel. 
And when you're moving from room to room, it makes sure you're connected to the closest Wi-Fi point and the strongest, fastest signal. It will even let you know if you can improve Wi-Fi performance by moving a Wi-Fi point to a better location. Designed for your home's complex Wi-Fi needs, yet simple to control. Google Wi-Fi. Home Wi-Fi simply solved.